Mega918. Quick look at some of the classics here in the lawn too. A Ferrari 412P, very reminiscent of the 330P4s. Yellow on blue, interesting color combination. We did see this at Car Week, I think, two years ago. That's very nice. You've got a Vignali bodied Ferrari, the 212 Export. Vignali bodied cars are obviously much different looking than the Pininfarinas. That's why it doesn't really look like a Ferrari very much, but different design house for the 212 Export. Flip over here, another Vignali bodied car there. We've got the 250LM. Uh, there's a couple other cars over there I want to show you that are incredibly special too. And the main reason why we're on the lawn right now is this 250 GTO. There we go, incredibly special car. Probably the main prize of the Cavalino Classic this year is this 250 GTO uh, finished in this like sort of minty green color. You can see the little tartan strip on the front. This was an ex Sterling Moss race car and I believe the rumor is it's been 10 years since this car has seen the light of day and you can kind of tell because the paint is just in pristine condition and the 250 GTOs are pretty much the most expensive cars in the world before that 300 SLR broke the record but overall the 250 GTO is still the most expensive car so ranging from about 70 to 100 million I would say and this one I can't even imagine how much it'd be worth. Nineteen sixty-eight Ferrari three hundred and twelve Formula One car, um, the wedge shape or the cigar shapes, you want to call it. Very classic design. You can see how much the Formula One cars have evolved over the years. Pretty much just a steering wheel and an engine right behind your head. There's absolutely no safety involved in these things, but they do look cool. But now you can see the evolution into a more modern Ferrari. I think this is Blue Le Mans on the SP3 Daytona. Absolutely beautiful car. This new Icona series, so following up on the SP1 and the SP2 Monzas. And never seen one in blue before. It's quite striking, especially under the light. Really, really makes the color pop. That is absolutely beautiful. people here when Chiron comes in. There upon further inspection of the Chiron, I thought it was just painted black, but it's actually black exposed carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. Other than that, I don't think it's a special dish or anything. It's just a nice, clean black carbon Chiron. Always nice to see. Hey, 918, look at this like uh, frozen blue. Peep the plate though. <laughs> Mega 9, baby. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we all know what that is. Um, wide body as well, y sack package. Make America great again. Make. Cavalino, great again. A little bit of a different atmosphere again. 918, amidst a sea of Ferraris here down in South Florida. Pretty cool spec. I think we saw this back at Car Week. It had a roof intake on before, so it looks like they've taken that off. Gone back to the stock look, but uh, interesting color. It's got the acid green brakes too. Not bad, not bad at all. There goes the Mega 918. Doors up, flex. That's how you leave the breakers in style. Green SLS. Pretty sick. Yeah, Zach Brill. Later. Zach Brill. Oh. Networking. 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 I like it. I like it. And a couple Paganis, of course. We all know these cars, guys. The King. Not ZB. He's not the King. We're talking about the cars here, guys. <laughs> um, obviously, yeah. One of the only wires you'll probably find anywhere in North America that didn't do the Tempesta package. So that's kind of cool. It's still in its original form. Got the BC in red carbon fiber too. 
as I mentioned, we've seen these cars quite a few times, but it's still two wires side by side, guys. So it doesn't really get old. And it's cool to see. We've seen a lot of Ferraris today, so it's always cool to see something a little bit different. Yo, I just got my feet. Welcome back. More Florida shenanigans. Blue Cepheus Aventur SVJ. Pretty damn sick. Bow Harbor shops outside of Miami. So, as I mentioned, we've got more Florida shenanigans. Going to be checking out some good old-fashioned car spotting down in the southern state. So, good start to the day. Here we go. More Bow Harbor spots. 997 GT2 RS. We saw this drive in. It would have been a lot cooler to see on the road. But we did end up finding it anyway. Pretty damn cool white with the matte black hood. Classic looking spec. This car never really gets old. Yellow seat belts are looking good. Flip around to the back. Those look pretty good parked up next to this matte black Dawn. Very, very Florida looking combo. That's not bad at all. Just like a car week, we're finding all the Ontario cars. Oh, here we go. Um, this is the actually Lamborghini Aventador Roadster launch color painted on a Porsche, so kind of cool. It's an interesting spec on that SF90. Oh, hey, E12 GTS bomb. There's a nice little random street spot. I knew we'd find something cool. White Veyron on red. Oh, it's a red and white two-tone tier, actually. You can see white seats, but red steering wheel, red dash. That is super nice. So besides from being a quintessential Miami car, it is a Grand Sport, confirmed. So the original 16.4 body, but you can take the roof off. It's pretty cool, it has different wheels as well. Thanks to our encyclopedia over there, oh, Drive with Roy. He got us on that. Yes. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful car. Apparently it's Floyd Mayweather's old car too. So uh, yeah, you never know what you're gonna stumble across here down in Southern Miami, or not Miami, sorry, Southern Florida, Palm Beach. This is probably the best way to close out the Florida weekend, I would say. Diablo GT. This is the 20 of 80 that we did see back at Curated. And we've got everybody shooting it here on a nice palm tree filled Palm Beach road. Absolutely beautiful. It's so sinister driving behind this thing. Uh, we'll see if we can get some better footage of it, but it is just miraculous looking and pretty cool. We get to check it out. Yeah, I was three for three. I wake up really, really fast, you Place is pretty popping right now. I see A12 GTS randomly driving by. Pista Spider right there, but tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Pista Spider, A12 GTS. We've got Roy with the professional lighting closing out the VOG. 